Hundred percent chance of a roar. It's like 10K wide.
There we go again. Same crap from yesterday. Good starting. Something on this button. Occasionally, you'll hear some people on here. Trying to get the flares. Or they revamp uh, the whole property there. Um, uh, you know, I actually raced. If you go to my, uh, if you go to my QRZ page, I'm standing behind a bike that I raced there. too much QRZ and pages because I'm legally blind, so it's a little difficult. How many fingers I got up? Oh, well, let's see. If I'm looking through the microphone, I'll say five, but I'm just taking a damn good guess. <laughs> I did the last car, uh, three and four turn, and then we go inside. And then we come back out again on the NASCAR three and four turn on the PIR. Right there, a few times. On a motorcycle. Oh, on a motorbike, yeah. Sure, on mile track, yeah. I, that'll lend itself to a lot of different uh, race vehicles. I do like the way they made those big, tall grandstands going around three and four and down the what used to be the old dog leg straightaway now. That is. If you're legally blind, how would you know all that? <laughs> we can't figure out why. And you can't get to this relay. I can't. So I carried it to my man who was a retired Henry man from uh, uh, Los Angeles area. Uh, he used to work for uh, that company, and um, he fixed it twice, and they kept taking a relay out. So somebody mentioned, matter of fact, the W6LG, he said, I think possibly uh, that new transceiver could be hot switching the, uh, the relay in that thing. And sure enough, I read up on it, and it distinctly says in the ICOM manual, do not, do not uh, transmit this uh, radio into a uh, non-ICOM uh, amplifier. And it says you will have relay problems, uh, in essence. So I changed that. the uh, the setting on it. I changed it back to... Um, Point three milliseconds, I think, or three milliseconds, and we hoping that's going to fix it. I'm confident that it will. And uh, I might consider putting a buffer in, but I don't think I'm going to need it because um, somebody else told me said uh, just change the uh, the uh, sequence at which it keys it so that the RF and the voltage doesn't hit the uh, relay at the same time, but. 
my Henry man said, I can't imagine what could be taking this relay out and just burning the relay up. He said, he said uh, there's burn marks on the inside of it. <laughs> so we're pretty sure that's what it is. So I got to carry it uh, to Atlanta uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday and uh, probably leave it with him for a few days and then go back and get it next week. So there you are, hamburger. That's it. Over. Boy, his audio is like a lispy. The yeah, S's. Very sharp. So yeah, the band is starting to get bad, guys. So I imagine by late night, it'll be all chopped up and bad news.